Hey, Bez Hashem, today's daf is daf mem vav, mesach desaita. I just want to review uh, with you the psukim of the topic that we're discussing, which is called Egla Arufa. And if you've you kept up, uh, this is uh, this is the parsha we've been discussing, and some of the some of the drushes from the pasuk will be familiar. The pasuk in the end of parsha Shoftim says, "Ki yimatzei, if you find with Adam Cholo a corpse, if a corpse is found, okay, uh, ba'adama on the ground, it means it's not hidden, okay, and a Cholo means it was killed by a metal object." Right, not that it was. If you find the corpse that was hanging on a tree, there's no din egla rufa. It has to be somebody who was like stabbed to death. But Adama, the guy is on the ground. He's not under a pile of of, of rubble. I'm in Eretz Yisrael. No, he fell. He fell, and he's not hanging. Basoda on the on the ground, and he can't be floating on water. You know, it could be. So the Torah emphasizes not only it cannot be hidden. But the person cannot be on the on the ground uh, on the on the water. We don't know who killed him. Hi, Lewis. We just began. I'm just going over the psukim of the Eglar Rufa. So I want to point out something very important. There are four sets of 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 special people that are involved with this with this dead corpse. Again, this corpse was found in the middle of the road, and we don't know who killed him. So the Chomish says, "V'yatsu zekinecha there are five people from the Sanhedrin that go out, and they start measuring which is the closest city to the to the dead body. Okay, so five people from the Sanhedrin Gedola that it was in Jerusalem from the 71, five people go out and they measure. And then they decide, they measure from the nose. Even, even if it's very clear, let's say it's like outside the city, like 10 feet outside the city, you still have to call the Sanhedrin to start making a whole measurement to decide which is the this closest city, even though it's obvious. And the whole point is that it, once the Sanhedrin goes out, you know, there's more of a noise. So maybe we'll find the we'll find the killer. And 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 that's the the, the point over there. The city that's most closest to the dead body, then by the way, the Sanhedrin goes home, they go back to Jerusalem. But then there is another elders of the city, the people, the elders of the Sanhedrin of that city, uh, I think it's the, the 23 Sanhedrin, Egla Bakar, they take a calf, Asheloi Ubaba. This is very important. They take a, a baby calf that never had worked with it, oil that never walked with a yoke on it. They take this baby calf. They take it down, El Nachal Asan, to a valley that's potentially sometimes has water in there. Asan, that's full of, uh, that's hard. In other words, that's full of rocks. So imagine a, a valley that you, that's, that's, there's just a bunch of rocks there. Asher lo they, that they, that they don't work there, v'lo Yizarei, and they don't plant. Nobody plowed there, and nobody can plant there. V'ofush es ergala banocho, and they will hack off the calf by that valley. Now, the, what we're going to learn is that most opinions hold that once they hack off the head of that that calf over there, then then the, you can't benefit from that ground anymore. You can't use that and plow it, plow in that area anymore. So imagine there's a dead calf over there. Okay, imagine there's a dead calf with its head chopped off. Benikshu hakahana b'nei Levi, all the kahanim who are the sons of Levi, even a balmum is permitted. To do this work, because they have a special job over here. They're in charge of deciding halacha in this town, so they take responsibility. The responsibility belongs on the on the elders of the city, the, uh, and, and the kahanim, who are the who are the spiritual guides of the city. Because what the what the basic point of the whole uh, egla rufe is that this guy who got killed lost his his self esteem was taken from him. Why was his self-esteem taken from him? Either you didn't provide food for him, or nobody escorted him. So he didn't feel the courage enough to fight against people who tried to kill them. And therefore he blames the city. So all the elders of the city that are next to the dead body, they wash their hands by this dead calf, this dead 
uh, calf, which is in, in, in the Nachal, in the valley. They basically is saying, we're not guilty of this whole thing. But Anu Amru, and the, the, every, the, the Gizikne ear, those 23 people who are the city's judges, say out loud, Yedeinu l'shafcha sadam we did not spill this blood by not providing this, this innocent guy food. They named it Lairo. I eyes didn't see him walk out of the city by himself, and nobody escorted him. So Kappa, we say to God, Hashem, forgive the Jewish people that you redeemed God from the Tzrayim, because in Egyptian there was a lot of murder. And if we're guilty of murder, there was no point of re redeeming us. So please, God, forgive us. Don't blame us for this innocent blood amongst the Jewish people. And if you follow this procedure, nothing will happen to the city, God says, you'll all be forgiven. But let's say they find the, the killer. If you find the killer, then you... Don't say that you you fulfilled the obligation and the killer can get away with this. No, the killer has to pay his crimes if you find out who exactly was the killer. Here. One last point, and then we start. The Torah, the, the Torah also describes by a para aduma that the para aduma has to be also something that does not that does not uh, uh, carry a yoke. The, okay, so let's begin the Mishnah. Okay, uh, hi Steve. We just began the Mishnah is on the daf mem above uh, daf mem hey on the base on the bottom. Okay, nifteru nifteru zikne. Uh, Remember, the Sanhedrin walked, uh, they, they did the measuring job, and they go back to Jerusalem. The, 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 the elders of that city bring a calf that never carried a yoke, never walked with a yoke. The key word here is walk with a yoke. It doesn't matter if it's a blemished animal, because it's not a carbon. They bring it to this place called Nachal Eisen. Nachal Eisen can be anywhere. But Nachal means usually a valley, and Eisen means kemashmoi, which means kosh. It means has to be like full of stones, hard rocks there. But though it's not, if you can't find a valley that's that's full of stones, anything is kosher. They take a hack and they hack off the, the, the head of the animal from the behind, from the from its back of its neck. From that point on, you can't plant in that area and you can't uh, do any mulach in that area. But you're allowed to comb flax. Let's say just stand there and comb flax in the, in the place where you uh, where you knocked off the animal's head. And to chisel stones. Because that's not working the ground. That's doing a, a work on top of the ground. Zikni Isaiah, that remember the 23 elders of the court of that city, they wash their hands right like in the Yedayim, I think so, over, over the dead corpse, uh, over the dead animal. And they say, Our eyes didn't kill him. Uh, why would I think that the Bezdin has to say, We didn't kill him, we're innocent? Ella, they said, he didn't come here and we sent him out without food. So we left him and without escorting him. Because if he's without food, the bride probably tried to rob somebody and the, the other person fought back and killed him. So we should have given the, uh, this guest food when he came into our city. Or even if he had his own food, we escorted him. So we're guilty in that way. Now we go to the Memvav Meral. And then the Kahanim say, remember, it could be a Balmum. They, they say, forgive the Jewish, forgive the, forgive the people for this uh, innocent uh, victim over here. Now, the end of the Pasuk says, is not part of the, uh, uh, the, the, what the Kahanim have to say. It's not part of the text that the Kahanim have to say. The dumb will be forgiven, the blood will be forgiven. The, the God is talking over here. That means, if you do this, then the, the blood will forgive you. So if the if the blood, if you're not forgiven, then the blood will come back and revenge that city. So that's why you have to do this procedure. Now the Gemara says like this. 
The Gemara asks the question, you told me in the Mishnah that Egla Rufa, a mum doesn't posel it. So the Gemara asks, let a mum posel an Egla Rufa mekal Let's say a, a blemish. Let's say it has a broken leg, that Egla, let's a posel. Because ma para, just like a para duma, she'en hashan and poisless ma. A para could be a, a cow, the para duma could be any age, right? It's uh, even three uh, uh, years old. Boom, paisel ma. But it's very similar, para duma to agla rufa. And yet we find blemish apostles in para duma. Agla shashan and poisless ma. But a calf has to be a uh, year or less. It has to be under a year. So years possible it. So it's uh, uh, egla rufa is more stricter than a para duma. So shouldn't a moon passel the egla rufa? So the Gemara says Shana Hosam. The reason why a moon passes only by a parabaduma and not by an egla rufa, the amakra, because the pasuk says in Pasha's Chukas, by the Pasha of parabaduma, Asha ain't bah boom that the parabaduma has no failings. Moon ba moon passel only by a parabaduma. A mum passels. The ain mum paisel be egla by a mum would not passel by an egla rufa. So an egla rufa could have a moon. So the Gemara asks a question. Elamayata, according to you, that the word ba always means a limit. It only applies here and nowhere else. But it says ba by egla rufa. The, the you see by para look by. I want to point it out to you. By para duma it says it doesn't carry a yoke. What happens if it carries a, 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 a bag of a, a luggage, right? A suitcase on it. How do you know that possible is that? So but by by uh, by Agla Rufa, it says Ashaloy Ubad Ba. It did not do any work. So even if it carries a, a luggage on it, Ashaloy Moshkaba oil, or it did not walk with a yoke. So now the Gemara asks a question. That shar avoidis putting a piece of luggage on a paraduma should not passel a paraduma. Allah Amr Rabbi Yehuda Amr because the Torah is strict. It says only a yoke on a paraduma, nothing else. But why did Rav said heniach le'uda shel sack? And if you put on the paraduma a sack of of wheat, pesula the pasul is pasul. It's pasul the paraduma. Uva egla, but egla achetimshach. The egla rufa, yes, putting a sack of wheat passes the egla rufa also, but the egla has to walk with the with the with the with the sack of wheat on it because the Torah requires ashel moshcha. It has to walk a little bit. But but the bottom line is, it says by if you notice by by para by egla rufa, it says like ubat ba. That means it never did any work. Only. Any carrying the luggage only passes by Egla Rufa, but it should not pass by by uh, Paraduma. That's Gemara's question. If Ba is a mute, it 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 should only pass by Egla Rufa and not by Paraduma. Shani Para. So Gemara says you're right. It, the Yalfinan all all me Egla. There's a Gzeri Shava that learns oil for oil. They both say yoke yoke. So because it both says yoke, we have a Gzeri Shava. Just like a, 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 by by egla rufa, it doesn't mean just yoke. It means even any uh, type of work. So also by paraduma, eg, any type of work. So the Gemara asks, el, egla nami tesa all all para. Learn it the opposite case. That learn all all from para. That just like para a mum, mum is uh, passes a paraduma. So by egla rufa, you should say a mum passes an egla rufa. So the Gemara says. But it doesn't say by uh, by paraduma that mum only is limited to paraduma, not egla rufa. So the Gemara asks back, then and then say the same thing. By egla also it says ba that limits that that other work doesn't passel it. It only applies by uh, egla rufa. Does not apply by probably by paraduma. That work would not. But but keeping a a a, 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 a luggage box on a paraduma would not passel it. Why don't we say that? Answers the Gemara, there is a Gzair Shava. Okay, so the Gemara is learning now that there is a Gzair Shava, that any type of you know work that's done with a paraduma, we know is Aser, because you have a Gzair Shava to Egla Rufa. But the Torahs wrote by Egla Rufa the word Ba, that Ba is Babay Lelamute Kachem, the Loi Pasla by Avoida. By Kachem, Avoid it would not pass. That means if you have a carbon, and let's say you have a carbon, you're supposed to bring a carbon oil, and you did work with it, it doesn't pass if you did work with that carbon. You could still bring it as a carbon. I would have thought, I, I should learn that uh, uh, that that 
that there's a Kalvachoyma from Egla Rufa, Ma Egla Shein Mum Paisel Ba, Avoida Paisel Ba, Egla, the Egla Rufa Mum is not a Psul, but a work is a Psul, Kotchim, so a regular carbon oil, Shemum Paisel Ba, a Mum is Paisel a carbon oil, Ein Adin Shavoida Paisel Ba, so then certainly Avoida should work, would Paisel it. That's why I need, but to tell you, no, work, working an atom, keeping a, 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 a luggage on a carbon would not possible the carbon. Because I have a kalvach, I would have said that kalvach hoimer. So the Gemara says, Ikel amivrach, ma'al egr shakein shanam paisas by. How can you have a kalvach hoimer to say that avoidance should possible by a kachim? Egla is more stricter than kachim because there's there's limit. Uh, Egla rufa has to be a year or younger. Kachim is not necessarily a year or younger. So the Gemara asks back, what do you mean? Out the Kachim Milek and the Apostle of Hashanim, isn't there any carbon, there's carbonus that has to be a year or younger, like carbon Pesach, we, we, we have, has to be a year or younger, or Chatas. So years do pass by it. So that's why, Ki Yitzchak cry, I need the Pasuk, Lahana Kachim, the Apostle of Hashanim, that those young carbonus, that Pasuk Kachim, I would have had a Kalvachoyme that avoided the Shepasuk with them as well, because I would have had a Kalvachoyme to Egla Rufa. That's why the Ba by Egla Rufa says, that limits only by Egla Rufa and Paraduma uh, work apostles, but not by any other Kachim. So now the Gemara asks, Kachim, the Lord Apostle Bo Avoidim Hachanafka, do you learn Kachim that doesn't passel, Avoidim doesn't passel only from here? Mahasanafka, I learned that, Kachim, that by Kachim, Avoidim does not passel, uh, passel from another Pasuk. The Pasuk says, Averis, Ayshava, Acharat, Ayabalas, Agarva, Yelephis. The Torah lists off Mumim. That invalidate a carbon. So we darshan ela yatamakrav. Only if it has a blemish, then you can't be used the kachim. But if it's an unblemished animal, it's just you know you, you, you were using it to carry luggage or do work with it, that would not pass out. So I have another pasuk that that teaches you that that avoid does not pass out by kachim. So what do I need the bar for? So the Gemara answers itzrach. I do need the bar. I would think avoid When does an avoid the passel is only if you did a permitted act, then avoid it does not passel by kachim. Avol hecha avoid the sister. Let's say you did an usur avoid Let's say you took the kachim animal, you have a, a oil animal, and you worked with it with kalayim, or you worked with it on Shabbos. I would think, oh, you did something so wrong with this animal. Maybe it should become usur. To use it as still as a as a carbon. Tzricha, that's why I need the ba by Egla Rufa to teach you. No, it doesn't avoid it. Does not passel by kachim. So the Gemara asks one more point. I learned from from another place. It, it, the pasuk says also another miyat by mum. It says miyad ben nechor lesekriva l'shem lekechem mikol eila. All these bubed you can't bring as a carbon. Eili i atamakriv av atamakriv kachim shneva b'mvoida. Only a mum. From a go, uh, from a, for only a mum is a problem, but not from kachim that that you did an avoid it with. So I have basically, you have another miyat that tells me that even if you did an avoid this iser with the uh, with the animal, it still would not passel. So again, what do I need the ba by egla rufa? I have two miyutim by by mum that only a mum passes by kachim, and not if you you do it work with the animal. So the Gemara gives the final answer. Itzrach. I need a special ba by Egla Rufa to tell you that it's limited. Working with an animal only passels an Egla Rufa and not Kachim. Why? I would have had when does not avoid the passel of carbon. You, you did the avoida with this before you made it Hegdish. So then avoida doesn't passel it. But let's say you did the avoid after you made it hegdish already. Maybe I would say it becomes aser. Sricha. That's why I need the pasuk by Egla Rufa that even after it became kodesh and you're right, right, uh, you're about to bring it as a carbon. Even if you did work with an animal, it would not passel the carbon. So bottom line is work only passels by by paraduma and work only passels by Egla Rufa. But it does not invalidate any other any 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 carbon. Gufa. Let's go. We learned before. Amar Rav Yehuda Amar Rav. Heniach Alei Uden Shel Sakim Pesula VeEgla Atish Timchay. Remember, you put a a a basket, let's say of 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 uh, a sack of full of wheat on top of a baraduma. It's pesula. 
right? Even if it didn't move, that's the point, because it doesn't say it has to walk with it by a paraduma. Over egla, by a egla rufa, if you put something on it, it's ad shetimshik. It has to walk a little bit with, with the egla rufa. Only then it becomes invalidated. Meisve, I'll ask you a question against Rav. First, there's a bracer that says oil. The Torah writes by oil, by paraduma. Eile ele oil, shara voidus menayim. How do I know that that the Torah only said a, a yoke, apostles say, if he carries a yoke, you know, that, that thing on the animal, that passes. How do I know if you put a piece of luggage or a sack, a sack full of wheat? How do you know it passes a paraduma? I'm a kavachoy. When you learn as a kavachoy, ma egla she mum paisel ba shara voidus paisel ba para she mum paisel ba ain't a dinsha shara voidus paisel ba. You have a kavachomer. If egla passes in any type of work, and and there's no mum that passes by an egla rufa, but a paraduma with mum passes by it. Certainly, uh, oh, certainly any type of work would pass a paraduma. If you don't like that kalvachoyma, then I'll have a gzair shavu. Nem kam oil v'nem laham oil. Malahalan shar avoid is possible. Just like uh, the gzair shavu will teach me that. Just like by uh, egla rufa, any type of avoid apostles. Afkan shar avoid is priceless. So also over here, paraduma every avoid apostles. My mashach loyma. Why wouldn't I like a kalvachoyma? Why do I need a gzair shavu? I could learn a simple kalvachoyma to teach me that paraduma any type of avoid apostles it. The Gemara says, "I could, I could refute the Kalvachoyma." Mala Egla shekain shanim poisel spa. Egla has more is more chumradik. Yes, it doesn't. Mum doesn't passel it, but years passel an Egla rufa. So therefore, it must be stronger. That's why shara avoid is passel by an Egla rufa. Inami kachim mechiro kachim prove it. Shemum poisel behem. Mum it has the same strict as paraduma that mum passels but ain't avoid the poisels behem. So that's why memakan all but never hal all mala hal shara avoid this. Afkan shar avoidus, right? So, so it's exer shava, just like by egla rufa shar avoidus pasal any type of work you do with the animal. So also by paraduma any type of work that you can do with the paraduma will pasal the animal. Now, um, so the, if it's exer shava, then now this comes the question. This is the question against Rav. How do I know paraduma? You can't do any avoidus with a paraduma any type of work, is because you learn an exer shava to egla rufa. So if that's the case, then paraduma should also be, you have to walk with it. So why don't we say uh, that by paraduma, it also has to walk in order to become invalidated. And Rav only said that only as soon as you dump a, 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 bas, a, a sack full of wheat on the animal, then it becomes possible. If you're learning it from Exerishava to paraduma, let us say that just like paraduma, uh, yeah, it only becomes invalidated only after you walk. So also by paraduma, it should only become invalidated only after you walk. And says the Gemara Tanoi, he, it actually it's a Kvachlikas Tanoim. Because according to some, you don't learn uh, that Shara Void is possible by paraduma from the Gezer Shava. The Ika, the Maisila, the Ika, the Maisila, Egla. Ika, the Maisila, Magufa, the Para. Some, you learn it from Egla, Rufa, and Shara Void is from, from Para. The Tanya, we learned it in Abraisa. Oil, and this is the brisa that will be Rav's opinion. The Torah says oil. The Torah says a paraduma should not carry yoke. Ainly ella oil. Shara voidus nine. How do you know any type of work passes a paraduma? Talmud loyma asher loy olea oil mikamokah. But the Torah says asher loy olea oil never had a yoke. The asher never did anything. It's not just a yoke. Yoke is an example, but the Torah meant that it didn't carry any luggage or anything like that. And came Matamud Loima oil. Then what's why does the Torah single out it as an example of a yoke? It should say Yasha didn't work. Why does it say that it ca- didn't carry an oil? Oil poisel bay bishas avoid the bay mshloy bishas avoid. Sha'ar avoid is aim a poisonous el bishas avoid. A yoke, no matter what, if a yoke is on a paraduma, so then it passes the paraduma. No matter what, even if it's not doing work for you, as soon as you put it on, or even if you temporarily put it on, it 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 passes. A shower, but but shower avoid this. Let's say you're putting a sack of tfu on it, a sack of, of wheat on it, only if you intended to, you know, put it there permanently or to carry it or have the cow move with it. But if you accidentally put it on onto the cow, it wasn't meant to be put on the cow. It would not invalidate the para dumo. Now, so the Gemara asks, so so we see the aim ashaloy olea klal. Why don't we say ashaloy olea means klal? General oil is prat. Klal prat, aim klal and shemash prat. We only have a klal and prat. So maybe the Torah was strict 
that only thing that passes a paraduma is only a yoke, because we have a rule in, in learning, klal prat, the, the, if, if, the, if the Torah gives you one example, it means only that example is the disqualifies. Oil ein mi diachrin eloi. So the Gemara says, asher ribiyuhi. It says asher. The, the Torah uses the word asher, means it, it's it, it's more all-inclusive, not just a yoke. Even if it carries any type of load, it becomes possible. So Rav is this opinion. Since it's not learned, a paraduma is not learned from Exer Shava to Egla Rufa, so a paraduma, even if it carries a, any load, uh, since it's learned from itself, therefore, even if it does not walk, it becomes invalidates the paraduma, even if it doesn't walk with the with the load. Tanya nami gabe egla akai gavna oil enli al oil. Shara void some nine, Tamad Lemish Luba Lai Mikomoka. In K Ma Tamad Lai Ma oil, El Paisal by Meshasa Void, Mesh Lai Shasa Voida, Shavoid is Ain Paisal Shasa Voida. Dear by El Garufa, the Torah is more specific. The Torah wrote, Ashley Ubadbot didn't do any type of work. So why did the Torah say, uh, why, why did the Torah say oil? Oil is uh, it has a unique, no matter when you put it on it, no matter what reason you put the yoke on the on the Egla Rufa, it becomes possible. The Ema Ashley Uber by Kal Oil Prat, Kal Prat Machabish Prat, Oil Emi Rukhin Loy, Asha Ribuihi. So there's a Ribuihi over here. Okay, now the Gemara comes to a question. Question is, you told me by an Egla Rufa it has to walk. So the Gemara asks the question, how much does an Egla Rufa have to walk? How long? Uh, to, to, you're just putting, a, let's say, a, a, a sack, claw, a, a, a sack full of wheat on the Egla Rufa. You tell me it has to walk. How how much? How much does it have to walk? He says the the length of a the width uh, the length or width of a of a yoke. Is it length or width? I know the exact measurement. I heard it from Rabbi Yochanan. I heard it. It was explained to me what Rabbi Yochanan meant. It has to walk the width of a yoke, which is a tefach. It walks a tefach, then it becomes invalidated. So we'll lay a tefach. Why didn't Rabbi Yochanan say that the amount of space it has to walk, it's a tefach. Why did he say the amount of walk of a of a egla rufa is the is the is the is the width of a of a yoke? Why don't you say exact measurements? He's telling you that at all a yoke has to be a width, a, a, a real yoke has to have a width of a tefa. What's the difference? Why do I need to know that? If you buy something, if you commit to buy a yoke, the guy that sells it to you has to sell you a yoke that has a width of a tefa. If he sells you the width of a, of something that's um, that's uh, that's less than a tefa. You know, it's not. It's 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 going to break, or it's it's he's 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 giving you a Chinese knockoff. So therefore, uh, that wouldn't be good. Amar Rabbi Yechidim and Shal. Here comes new Gemara. Why did the Torah said Havi Egla Benachal bring the calf to this Nachal, to the Nachal Esa, to this rocky place, this rocky valley? Amar Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Hakadosh Baruch Hu said, "Yovei Davish Loi Asa Peres." Let's bring something like an Egla Rufa that did not have children yet. Right, it's a young calf. The Arab we knock his head off. The Malkam Shein Oisa Peres in a place that doesn't grow produce. That rocky area is not producing any fruit. The Yichape Al Mishloi On Yichalas Peres, and to forgive on this victim, this young victim that was not allowed to get married because he got killed and he was wasn't able. Able to produce children. So the Mara says, My Paris. What do you mean? He wasn't able to produce fruit. Elam, the victim did not pre reveal, he did not get married. Let's say he was an old man that's a victim or a person that couldn't have children. Would there be no case of Egla Rufa? Ella, the answer is no. Mitzvahs. Because he was killed, and that's the most important fruits of a person, not just his children, the more important fruits are his mitzvahs. And because he was killed, as, and so the victim now can't do any more mitzvahs, so that's why we bring him to this Nachal Eisan. That's why we bring the Egel Rufa to Nachal Eisan. Marie Denoy say Nachal Eisan, Eisan Kamashmoy Kasha. The word Eisan means it has to be a rocky area. Tanur Abonim, Menayin Le'Eisan Shu Kasha. How do you know the word Eitan means tough? Shnema, we go to Membaba Membeis, so in the context of those two psukim, you see that the word means Asan means a tough place. Others say it doesn't have to be a rocky place. The word Asa means it has to be an old place. 
Yashan. The word Asa means it's old, right? And uh, that that means that the they didn't bring earth from somewhere else here. This is the original earth of this place. So again, you have two understanding of the word Asa. The first understanding of the word Asa means it's a tough, rocky place. The others understand it doesn't mean it's a rocky place. It means this is the original earth. No other earth was transported here. They, they hack its head off. So the Gemara says, My time, why did they hack its head off? You have a Xerah uh, Aruf, Aruf from Chatas Oif. You know, the way they, in, a, in a bird offering in the base of English, they did Malika. And they, they, they basically the coin's nail went through the back of the head of the bird. So also, we knock off the back of the head of, the, of this Egla by by uh, chopping it off, by hacking it off. You can't do any work there. You can't plant there. You can't work the, that ground anymore. Rabbi Yaishi. Rabbi Yaishi learns that this land was never worked before. It was never plowed before. That makes the Nachal Eisen. No, the Torah means in the future you can't do any work here. Once after you did the Egla Rufa, you cannot plant there anymore. Rava Amma, Rav explained. Lahaba, in the future, in the place where, where you knock the Egla Rufa down, that area, the Kuliamale Pligi, the Loizerai, you can never plant there anymore. He Pligi, the argument was Lisha over. Can the Nachal Eisen been a place that at one time you planted there? Rabbi Yashi says, Miksiv lo uban. It says, Lo ye So the pos uh, the posik implies that you never did work over there. So Rabbi Yashi says, the Nachal Eisen has to be a place that nobody ever used it to plant anything there. Rabbi Yashi says, Amma Miksiv nevad. Does it say uh, that it was never worked in the past tense? It says, Lo ye ba. Right? So therefore, it's only in the future. Rabbi Yoshia Asher Lush of Masher. Rabbi Yoshia teach says the word Asher, the Apostle says Asher Loy of it's Mashma. It implies that it was never worked there in the past. So nobody ever planted there. Rabbi Yoshia is a Asher here. Asher is Marba, is a Marba, something other, or, or other types of work. But not that you, that it was never, nobody ever worked there before. So that's a Machlaik is, is if, if the Nachal Eisen was something that you never did work there before. Okay, another two, three more minutes, and then we'll stop. Actually, you of it by the Israel. So we said that the, the that they never worked there, they never plowed the end, they know no one seeded the place. Ainly El Israel, Sharavidus Manaim. I only see from the Pasik that you're not allowed to plant there. How do you know you're not allowed to do any other work like plow or or, or weed or do any cargo work, land work? Talmud Loim actually of it by Mikomog, you're not allowed to work there at all. And came out time of Loy Israel. Then why did the Torah single out don't plant there? Just like seeding a ground, that's working the land by putting seeds in the ground. You can't do any work that has to do with the land itself. But once after you bring the paraduma, yes, you're not allowed to seed the ground, you're not allowed to plow it, but you're allowed to srikas pishta menikar avonim. You're allowed to you're allowed to uh, chisel stones or comb flax, you know, on top of that ground. You can build a factory. You can build an automobile factory there. That's not working the ground. The final question is, but maybe the Torah only was specific that you can't just seed the ground. How do you know you're not allowed to do any other work with the ground? Asher The word Asher is a reboy. Another minute two. They wash their hands, mamish on top of the place of the of the calf. If anybody could look this up, are they washing their hands on top of the dead animal, or they move the dead animal and they're just washing their place in the place where the dead animal was? But anyway, they washed their hands. All the twenty-three bezdin of of that city. Why do bezdin have to say we didn't kill this person? That means that they that uh, that 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 we didn't see this guy and we sent them out without food or we sent them out without escorting. One last statement, Tanya. We learned in a brisa. 
We, Besden, will set up special people to escort people, guests who come to the city. They, they we force Besden to set up a like a like a shomrim, like a chaveirim, people to escort guests from the city. <laughs> the reward from escorting a person, there's no, there's no, there's no shear for that. There's a, endless, a limitless, infinite reward. Shnema, Posik says, there was a guy, the Jews were trying to capture a certain, certain city. <clears throat> they saw a guy, the, the, the Jews saw a guy leave the city. They asked him, show us how to get into the city and we'll do you a favor. So, which is basically the same idea when you escort somebody, you're actually showing him directions of how to go. So this guy, this guy showed the Jewish people who were trying to capture a city, he showed them how to enter the city. That he showed them how to get into the city. What kind of chesed did they do with him? The Jews killed out the entire city because they were capturing Israel. That man and his family were saved. And this family ended up building a new city. They built a city called Luz. Tanya, this Luz is, is the most beautiful place to retire. He lives, it's Luz, where they make, they color the dye for the tzitzis, the, the, the blue wool for the tzitzis. The weather is very good there. He lives, whenever there was a world war, they, they were untouched. This city, somehow they didn't touch it. The, no death, the Malach doesn't go into that city. No one dies in that city. So how does people die? The old people, when they had enough of this world, beautiful. They leave the city and then they die. So now, this is the ends of what Rameir said. So this guy, this guy who showed the Jews how to enter into a certain city, not only that, he was saved. He built a city that 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 nobody ever dies in that city. So, so, so and all he did was point. He didn't do anything. He just showed them how to enter a city. He saved him and his family for all the generation. And he built this unbelievable city. If someone escorts somebody with his feet and shows him directions, he certainly will have endless rewards. So we're going to continue with this, the, the, the topic of the rewards of, of escorting somebody when he leaves your premises.